Delgado. You are watching Pop Dust Presents. I am here with Caleb Holly. What's up? What's up? Welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thanks for coming today. Yeah, glad to be here. Awesome. So, you just released a new album. Mm -hmm. Tell yeah. me about it. I uh, love Drugs and Decisions, and um, yeah, I released it a month ago, about a, month, a little over a month ago. So I'm just doing release shows for it. It's a, you know, that's my... Uh, Third album, and it's nice. just like probably my most personal, personal of the day, you know. So, a lot of stuff happened in the three years to building up to releasing it, and just life stuff. So, it gave me a lot of stuff to write about, I guess. Yeah. Gotcha. That makes sense too, because you get older, you learn more, you know, as time passes. Who you calling old? I mean, I'm not calling you old, I'm calling you <laughs> older than you were three years ago. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. So um, tell me where a little bit of the inspiration came from this album. I love what you had to say about it online, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's just like, uh, I guess it, it just came from a big turning point in my life, like a lot of, uh, you know, kind of a rock bottom type, type place. And um, a lot of it was written <clears throat> about uh, struggles with substance abuse and stuff like that. And, and so kind of tougher issues and and whereas I used to write <clears throat> more from a place of like character writing like just thinking of I don't know trying to take on somebody else that I imagine myself as but uh, with this one I just felt like that's like the only thing I can really say is the only thing I really know is just my own story and that's really the only thing I can share so I feel like that at least that's what I'm feeling like as of late so that's kind of where the songs came from. That's true, that makes sense. A lot of the best stuff comes from your own personal experiences. Yeah. Um, what's your process like in writing a song? Is it different every time? Do you, I mean, I know some artists are like, oh, I always get my ideas in the bathtub. Where mm. Where do you kind of find, <laughs> you know, like, where, where's your starting point? Or is yeah. it everywhere? Um, I, you know, yeah, I mean, like, I would definitely get hit with inspiration, like, all, all over the place, wherever, you know, I'd constantly, writing notes in my phone that I never look back at, but it's like I have to just write it down because it becomes like an obsessive, otherwise I can't like continue a conversation type thing, but, um, yeah, yeah. but I, uh, but as far as like the actual writing of it, I mean you have to sit down, like I always think of this quote, uh, it's, it's Picasso and it's a, inspiration happens but it has to find you working, you know, so, mm. so you have to kind of sit down and, and give it a shot, you know, and then, and then, and it works out, you know, so, but a lot of them, uh, I don't know, I mean, it's, but it's always a different process. Sometimes I start with the beat and write lyrics over that, sometimes I start with just a notepad and then end up switching it, like, going all over the place with it, because it's like, once you get the, I don't know, I'm going to get way into songwriting right now, but sometimes I just sit down with an acoustic guitar, or it's always different more, as far as, like, yeah, more of the story, anything and anything. Yeah, it all works, and then the thing is, is I find like if I write something on piano or just, it, it helps me uh, break away from the same old habits, you know? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Just different instrument, different place. Um, yeah. So you play piano, mm -hmm. and yeah. you play guitar, do you play anything else? I play some bass, um, nice. yeah, but nothing, uh, no, not, nothing else. Gotcha. I, I can't, yeah, guitar is definitely my main instrument. I, I, I can play piano okay, but I wouldn't call myself. I'm no, I'm no Devin Yesper here. You know? <laughs> gotcha. So you write on piano though. Yeah. Yeah, nice. It's yeah, a great that. tool. And yeah. you also, you're, you know, no stranger to electronic um, producing. And yeah. Yeah, like programming and uh, yeah, drum programming and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You actually produced the majority of your uh, recent album. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I produced like. Yeah. Yeah, I guess the majority. I think seven. Or eight of the tunes, and then I did a couple with. Uh, my friend Doxa, Doxa Music, and another one with this guy Drew the Drew, and um, yeah, but but most of it I did, I did it on my own, and it's just um, yeah, it was the first time I did that. The other albums I I worked with other people, but it was just I don't know, some of like this one had less live instrumentation and stuff, so I was sure. able to do it more on my own. So it just that worked makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What um, other than like having more or less live instrumentation, what do you find the difference? Do you like collaborating with people? Is it a different kind of experience? Do you feel like you get a different product? 
Yeah, I actually feel like I'm a pretty bad collaborator. Uh, I get like, I kind of have to just leave the room and like let whoever I'm with, like I, I have to just let them do their thing. And trust them. And then, I, and then I come back and then I'll come back and, and kind of hear it. Otherwise it's like they're hearing something and I just get really uh, kind of controlling over it, you know? Sure, sure. And so the best way for me to work with someone else is just leave the room, come back, hear what they did, and then, you know, and, then, and, I, and I have to sit with it for a little, for a day or two or a week. Sometimes I'll hear stuff that I don't like, and but then I'll sit with it for a week and it'll really grow on me. So, you know, it's, it's uh, and then I'll go back to my old recording and be like, wow, this, what they did was so, so much cooler, you know? Yeah, so, it's kind of yeah. cool to see, like, what different perspectives pick up in your music. Yeah. And I feel like that's the same for, like, audiences, right? So, mm -hmm. um, you know, you play live a lot, or yeah. at the moment you're playing live in a bunch of different places. Yeah. What do you hope for your fans to take away from your music live, you know, as, as um, compared to listening to it on Spotify or something? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a bigger sound in general, live. I mean, like, on, a, on an album, on, the, on like a recording, uh, I feel like, especially since a lot of it was so personal and stuff, I tried to really make the lyrics heard. So, uh, you know, so sometimes making the lyrics be heard, you have to clear space for that in right. the production. So, um, sometimes when I listen back to it, the production feels a little small to me compared to, you know, wanting it to be bigger, you know? And so, and so I, I think live, that's something that comes across, you know? It, there's I have a, a real, like a drummer that plays with me. There's only real drums on like a few, maybe two or three of the songs on the album, but sure. when we do it live, we have real drums on everything. Um, you know, it's it's just... That I'm it's sure like up. creates that feeling in the room too, you know, like that yeah. very, very like, I mean, bouncing kind of feeling. Yeah, 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 it definitely fills it up. So, you know, and uh, so, yeah, I, I would say that's the, the main difference. It's like a little bit less electronic, I suppose, when it's uh, played live. Sure, what is your instrumentation live? It's a uh, drummer yourself, keys... Bass, and um, and then lots of times we have another guitar player. Nice, so lots um, of guitars. Well, yeah, I mean, the thing is, is I would play guitar on, on all of it, but I, I really enjoy being able to run around, so... Yeah, you're so known for this, like, very effervescent kind of stage uh, presence. Yeah, well, that's good. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, um, <laughs> yeah, I think that's... It's just fun. I don't know. It's like I used to be. I used to feel really naked without the guitar, and then um, it's just. It's so. I, I find it a lot easier to engage with the crowd and stuff, and it's just a lot more freeing to be without it. So, uh, so just this last <clears throat> on this last tour, that's the first time I've started playing with another guitar player, okay. just to do that. So that's cool. Nice. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite moment then, like from a show? Like I don't know. Oh man. Somebody who like sang into somebody's like camera once, and that was really cool. Yeah, yeah. Was there no, something I mean, that happened where you connected with an audience <clears throat> member, and it was really cool. Oh, I feel like it happens. I mean, all the time. You know, I mean, yeah. like they're, they're I, I feel, I'm usually out in the crowd like multiple times per show. So you know, it's like that's as close as you get to them. You Anything know, so, can happen. Yeah, exactly. You know, there's 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 no like exact you know favorite moments that I can sure. think of. Um, but just feeling on this last on these last shows we've done, uh, there's just been a lot of people who have known the words and and which means that, which is nice because it's like you spend all this time on the music. It's nice to to know that people have you know listened to it enough to have the words you know locked in. You know, I I don't even. I don't even know some of the words, yeah, so good for them. I actually had an artist once tell me that um, when they forgot the words once, they like put the mic out and they were singing along and they weren't, you know, they were in the moment, so they didn't yeah. know that their fans were singing along and they're like, whoa, they yeah. know the words. Yeah, yeah. That's a cool feeling. Yeah. Well, my favorite track on the album is Carelessly. Oh, cool. Um, oh. Where did yeah. that inspiration come from? It's just such a good group. I'm actually, definitely... thank you. Thank okay. you. Keep in mind. Let's just slow it down for a minute We ain't got no time in it Come on, dear line beside me What you wanna do? I'd be up for anything involving you We don't need to get dressed for the day 
Cause I'ma take it all off of you hey, hey, hey. Can we procrastinate? Can we strip away the pressure? Skin naked in the escape under the sheets We got all this time to waste Doing nothing's always better We're doing it together Can't let's leave Yeah So careless Let's not get ahead of each other Like we're floating on some river People are tied up in their heads But you're tied to the bed And I still have so many things I like to do for you And we don't need to get dressed for the day Cause I'ma take it all off of you anyway
can't take you away from me I'ma let them keep on judging it So come on, just keep on loving it If they wanna keep my company Then they can learn about it Let's <laughs> go.